あの8月6日の朝真っ青いね雲一つない空青空のもとでねあのずっと地響きがしてみんなが両,両手で目と耳を塞いで怖い怖い怖かったよねやっぱりね。Born and raised in Hiroshima. Hiroshima is the first city to experience the atomic bombing and reconstructed from the suffering. The atomic bomb survivors are aging year by year, and we are the last generation to hear their testimonies directly. <laughs> ちょっと触ってみたらわかる。Since I was a high school student, I've worked on the rebooting memories activity with former citizens of Nakajima District. Colorized black and white photos. Represent the rich color of memory. And seeing the colorized photos, the atomic bomb survivors recall their new memories in succession. I met、uh, Mr.、Uh, Hamai Tokso, who once lived in the Nakajima district,、uh, which existed under the ground of the present Peace Park. <laughs> His father ran a barber shop. Although he survived because he was evacuated, all his family members died from the atomic bombing. ものは壊しても新しく買うことはできるけれど、親兄弟は絶対に帰ってこんけいね。World War II is a past event in our all history, but it is a present issue that threatens our own daily life. So I think it's important to imagine and rethink what we can do. For realizing a peaceful world into the future. I think it's very important that people start to imagine、um, the impact of nuclear weapons. If you can visualize how things were, that goes into your imagination more vividly, and that will do something to your mind and then also your heart because you don't want to experience that. I first asked Hibakusha if they can share their own photos. I use AI technology, past documentary records, and dialogues with the atomic bomb survivors to colorize the monochrome photos. The black and white photos may appear lifeless, static, and frozen to us. By coloring the photos, however, the frozen time and memories of the peaceful lives before the bombing gradually advance and start breathing. It takes a long time, but I am always encouraged by the Hibakusha's joy seeing the photos colorized. The photos are colorized. The photos are colorized. I like each one of us to imagine the I like each one of us to imagine the peaceful lives that were suddenly lost by a single atomic bomb. 
or war as our own matter. I hope this sparks the conversation about peace in each community. The shock of Hiroshima and Nagasaki really made a huge impact on everyone in the world at the time. And since then, disarmament's been part of a priority agenda of the United Nations. And why it is even more important today is because, you know, we are again in a dangerous world context where conflicts and tensions are on the rise. I recently spoke at the UN event and I was very encouraged by various activists of my generation from around the world. I realized that each one of us is taking different methods, but the purpose to realize a sustainable and peaceful world is the same. It is my mission to continue spreading the thoughts and memories of the atomic bomb survivors into the future and realize a nuclear-free world. <laughs>